A fifth grade boy is being treated for life threatening injuries right now after being hit by an SUV. This happened on 61st Avenue Northeast in Fridley just after 3 this afternoon. That is not far from the Fridley Middle School. Our Kate Raddatz is live in Fridley near the scene of the accident. Kate? Hi, Frank. Yes, uh, we are here at the scene. It's actually the middle school is just down the road here uh, in the 61st Avenue Northeast in Fridley, where we are learning more about this boy that was struck this afternoon by a driver in an SUV. Here's uh, more what we know about this child. We know that he is in fifth grade. This young boy, he went, uh, he goes, excuse me, to Fridley Middle School. He has life threatening injuries. Witnesses said that the child was crossing the street here when an SUV hit him. Uh, we saw uh, investigators, police picking up a backpack, likely for evidence, uh, and that the child was taken to HCMC. Police uh, just spoke a short time ago, about 20 minutes ago, here at the scene, giving us an update on where they're at in the investigation. Let's hear what they had to say. It appears that he's crossing the street uh, from the north side of the road to the south side of the road. There were other children present, um, and some of the kids did witness what happened. Uh, they have. Uh, been talking to investigators, uh, trying to tell us what, what they saw. And we do know a little bit about the driver. We know that it is an adult male. We know that he stayed at the scene and is cooperating with investigators. Police said he did not appear to be impaired, but you mentioned you heard there that there were other uh, students there at the scene that saw this happen. So Fridley Public Schools is providing a support to uh, the to their students, uh, obviously a very traumatic experience for them and a very sad situation here in Fridley tonight. Yeah, Kate, very understandable. Thanks. Uh, we want to let you know we'll be following this story. We'll have uh, hopefully more information for you on our news at ten.